Turkish Airlines Euroleague. I feel devotion. In this episode, Turkish Airlines Euroleague is back in action with week one of the regular season. The rookies take center stage and we get to know the new starlets. The heavyweight teams are back with new personnel but still producing the goods. Three pointers always get the fans excited and we catch the MVP and top three plays of the week. With the start of the Turkish Airlines Euroleague just around the corner, there were some exciting friendlies that took place on both sides of the Atlantic. Let's take a moment to plunge into the 2012 NBA Europe Live and American Tour. Six European teams face six teams from the US with eight games in five days. It was a basketball feast for the fans. Fenerbahce Orca welcomed the Boston Celtics and led the match from start to finish. Moving from the fiery Ulker Arena to the magnificent O2 World in Berlin, where Alba hosted the Dallas Mavericks and the incredible crowd at the arena were treated to a spectacular evening. Across the Atlantic to Memphis, Tennessee, Real Madrid met Marc Gasol's Grizzlies in a blockbuster encounter. Meanwhile, the San Antonio Spurs of Manu Ginobili challenged Monte Paschi Siena. In Milan, EA7 Emporio Armani conducted their dress rehearsal for the season against the Boston Celtics. Back in the States, Rudy Fernandez and co. took to the floor in Toronto. Monte Paschi tested their team chemistry against the Cleveland Cavaliers. In Barcelona, the matchup between Regal SCB and Dallas ended the tour. Following the victory six years ago against the 76ers and two years ago over the Lakers, Juan Carlos Novaro's troops made it a three-peat over NBA teams against the Mavericks. And after such a long, hard summer for all the 24 Turkish Airlines Euroleague basketball teams, the wait was finally over. The regular season started and the opening of the competition provided some seriously exciting matches. Let's go and check out the games to discover what has changed, to see who's new and who's back. Welcome back BC Himki Moscow region following their brilliant victory in the Euro Cup. The draw assigned them to start in Turkey where they met Fenerbahce Ulka Istanbul. There are plenty of new stars in the Turkish side but the Russians have added one of the best kept secrets in Europe this summer in terms of offensive efficiency. Casey Rivers proved that he can score from all over the court. The American guard is now playing with his sixth European team in only four seasons, but since his days with Latina in the Italian second division in 2009, Rivers has quickly climbed the ladder. Benetton Treviso, Corral Loran, Virtus Bologna and Lokomotiv Kuban all appreciated his scoring talent. And that's what Himki also expects from him. He's asking me to just continue to be that player, also continue to be a leader. Also, a, a playmaker alongside uh, Zoran Planet, you know, and you know it's what I've been working on this summer. You know, once uh, talking to coach and kind of getting an idea of what was needed. His coach Rimas Kertanaitis knows how to put the ball in the basket. During his playing career, he was one of the best shooters in the world, which probably makes him the best coach around for improving Rivers' immense talent. He enjoys my movement on offense without the ball and he encourages it more often 
you know, especially from his standpoint, as being an ex-player, you know, he always likes players that, you know, move it off the ball, you know, and it's, it creates better opportunities for everybody else. The native of Charlotte, North Carolina, was eager to get a taste of European basketball at the highest level. We're here to compete. We're going to give it our best. We're going to play hard each night, and that's what I can expect because that's what EuroLeague brings out of each team. It brings the best. You know, the smaller teams sometimes shock the bigger teams just because of the excitement and the intensity of play. Rivers and Himke received a very intense welcome by Fenerbahce Ulka, considered to be the best team on paper. Turkish side showed their potential in the opener and they cruised to a convincing 92-80 victory. It was a learning experience for the Russians and a great start for the hosts, although they still have to reach their full potential according to Emir Prelzic, the player of the game and B-Win Week MVP. We are not playing our best basketball yet. Because we are, I mean, most players are new, coach is new, so we need to adapt on that. But I think like in three, four weeks, we're going to be in the best shape and then we're going to uh, put our best game on the court. The Slovenian combines size, quickness and a precious talent to play basketball. His new coach, Piani Gianni, gave him a lot of responsibility on the offensive end and also in handling the ball under pressure. He bring me back my confidence and he let me to play my game, so I hope I'm going to continue like this whole season. It is a great time for Fenerbahce Ulka, but we had also two other great moments to celebrate. Elan Chalon sur Saon of France and Besiktas JK of Turkey made their first ever appearance in Euroleague basketball. It was a night to remember for both clubs. Shalon Su Soon met Aseko Procom Dinia at Colise and relied on the experience of Steve Chikambu. The French guard is the only player in the roster with previous Euroleague basketball experience, and this is the reason why his coach, Gregor Bonnion, decided to let him play 36 minutes. Chikambu scored 16 points, adding 8 assists and 5 rebounds. That's what a leader does, make his team better. And the French took their historic success in the competition 81-74. Besiktas is living a dream this year. The club won the Turkish League and the Turkish Cup, the Euro Challenge and the President Cup in 2012. The black and white from Istanbul were missing just some Euroleague action. Then partisan MTS Belgrade arrived for their Group D matchup. A newcomer has found some real diamonds in the rough, such as American guard Patrick Christopher. got to know European basketball in Turkey, signing for Antalya two years ago, and he's back now with an upgraded status. His first steps in Euroleague were sensational. 25 points and a great shooting performance, including a 5 for 6 on three-pointers, leading his team to beat the young but legendary Partizan Belgrade 81-65. Alba Berlin returned to the competition after three years and produced a big surprise winning at Montepaschi Siena 92-82. It was a great night for Yasin Idbihi, who'd never played any Euroleague games before. He had 14 minutes, 13 points and 4 rebounds with 6 for 7 on field goals. You can't ask any better than that. Yasin is 29 years old and has solid international experience which is useful to be effective at this stage. And that's what can help you to beat the pressure from the hot and enthusiastic Euroleague basketball fans.
In terms of passion, few people openly love the game of basketball more than the Spanish fans. We stay in Group B, moving to Malaga to watch how Ricky Hickman performed in his first game at this level with Maccabi Electra Tel Aviv. After several seasons in Europe between Hungary, Romania, Germany, Finland and Italy, Ricky is ready for the biggest challenge of his career. You know, my thing is to come in here and, uh, you know, I just, I want to, you know, do my part, help the team win and, uh, and you know, just, just play my game the way I've been playing. And, you know, at this point in my career, you know, this is, you know, one of the biggest steps, you know. I feel like I made a great decision to come here, you know, to be with this, you know, organization. So I just look forward to, you know, taking another step and, you know, and, and hopefully helping Maccabi, you know, reach new heights this year. In the last few seasons, Maccabi Electra bet on some point guards without great international experience. But players like Doran Perkins, Jeremy Pargo and Yogev Ohayon were able to prove that they can play for real. It's Hickman's time now and his coach David Blatt believes that he will not let the opportunity pass him by. He's the same kind of hungry, ambitious player who, who really loves to play the game and plays the game right. He's a two-way player, he plays at both ends of the court. I, I think Ricky's going to be a special player, I really do. What we know now is that Hickman was very important for the Israelis to return from Spain with a success over Unicaja in a hard-fought 85-80 contest. He and David Logan combined for 30 points and scored the decisive points. It should be the beginning of a new and great backcourt for the Yellows. In Italy, they love sensational shows and masterpieces. And there's few aspects of the game that can leave the fans more ecstatic than a three-point series. Union Olimpia Ljubljana took advantage of the long-range shooting abilities of its players to overcome Mapa Orocantu at Paladesio. It was a close game until the guests scored four three-pointers in less than four minutes to seal the deal. Dylan Page of Olympia Ljubljana had to wait until he was 30 to play and win a EuroLeague basketball game. It may not be the normal age for a rookie, but he wants to prove that he belongs to this level. Hopefully I can prove that I belong and I can adapt quickly, you know. And again, I have confidence and belief in myself and my talent and my adaptability that I can uh, play and thrive in the league. Growing up in his native Wisconsin, the new Ljubljana forward moved to Greece, then Spain and France to earn a call from a EuroLeague team. His previous experience in EuroCup with Roanne should help him to understand what he needs to be effective now. It's a lot more individual plays where like two or three individuals are outstanding. With uh, the EuroLeague clubs you get more of the, the team play. You know, they have great players, like continental players and uh, world players, and but they play within a team system. You know, they can score four points or they score 20 points. It doesn't matter as long as they accomplish the team goals. Page, with the help of Clement Prepelic and Sasu Salin, hit the decisive baskets of the game, and he's now willing to give even more joy to the Ljubljana basketball lovers. I want them to see someone they can be proud of to represent their team and their city in their country. It wasn't easy against a pugnacious team such as Cantu that fought hard to defend the home court. <laughs> Union Olympia won their opening game on the road for the first time in 10 years, producing an 84-71 success. The fight for a place in the top 16 is tougher than ever in Group A. About 25 kilometers away in Milan, EA7 Emporio Armani also needed a great shooting display to make a difference in a great EuroLeague basketball classic in Group C against Anadolu Efes Istanbul. The Italians hit six three-pointers in the third quarter with three scored by Keith Langford. That's how they built a 16-point lead against the Turkish side. 
a7 then scored three more long-range shots in a row in the fourth quarter with Basile, Cook and Hairston to respond after a great fight back from the visitors who went back to a two-possession game. Milan finally won 80-75 in a thrilling finale. We started to um, realize we needed more passion on the court, you know, so we were, we were digging deep in practice and I think we played with more emotion tonight and with more pride. The, the key word is team. Uh, we have so many good players. Um, you know, you, you saw Giannis step up tonight, Keith played great. You know, and, and anybody on any night can have a big game. And I, I think that's where our strengths lie. Lietovos Ritas Vilnius travelled to Moscow to meet Seska. A perfect chance for us to welcome back our good friend, Renalda Sebutis. The Lithuanian guard is now 27 years old and he comes back to Euroleague action after a four-year absence. Guests were narrowly defeated 75-73, but he proved that he can be the leader of his squad, scoring a team high 19 points. I was always, uh, you know, dreaming about to come back and uh, and play in Euroleague, and this is the this is the team, this is the day, you know, where where I can be, I say, proud and. Uh, Hopefully it's going to be a good season for our team and, uh, you know, we can enjoy moments in Euroleague. It's great to see him now at his best after some serious injuries limited his progress in his early years. I'm the guy with, uh, uh, with, uh, with, emotion, with emotional stuff, you know, I, I'm trying not to think about it. Of course it's, it's painful, especially when you know that in that 20, age of 22, you have to have surgery and you have to leave the one year behind you. Uh, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of tough in that kind of age, you know. One Lithuanian team gave Sebutis a second chance. Another one, Zalgiris, brought us the talent of Sonny Weems. Last season with Kaunas, the American forward showed his amazing athletic and offensive skills and impressed Seska Moscow. The Russians signed him on a long-term contract because they believe he is a problem solver. Just look at what he did in the final minutes of the game when the host trailed by four with about 80 seconds to go. Thanks to Sabutis himself and Leon Radozovic. Weems scored six of the last eight points for his team and he was decisive as expected. Thirteen teams came to the opening tip-off with a new head coach. The most two eagerly awaited are, of course, Georgios Badzokas and Agiris Pedulakis, who replaced two true Euroleague legends, Dusan Ivkovic and Zelimir Obradovic. Badzokas led the reigning champions Olympiakos Piraeus to a close success over Cajalaboral Vitoria, 85-81. In the championship game last May, Georgios Printezis drove the Reds nations crazy with a winning shot to upset Seska Moscow. And he remained faithful to his habits, scoring 17 points in 20 minutes. Pedulakis travelled to Madrid with the Greens of Panathinaikos playing another big European classic against Real. In rebuilding the team and maintaining a winning programme, Pedulakis can rely on the charismatic Dimitrios Diamantidis and Kostas Tsasaris. Their part is very important. They are two players who have a huge experience. They are our base. They are captains. OK, I believe that my part will help as well. But because they are thinking players and the use of thinking in the game, they will help the rest of the team to show them that this is the way to success, to think. <laughs> Pan 
Panathinaikos played very well for 20 minutes, showing that they can still be counted on to be one of the most attractive and strong teams in EuroLeague. Big Sofo Skortsanitis was absolutely unstoppable, with a perfect 9 from 9 on field goals and 23 points in only 19 minutes. But the 9-point margin built by the Greeks wasn't enough anyway to take away Real Madrid's hunger. The host dominated with their intensity, grabbing 15 offensive rebounds and forcing the opponents to 23 turnovers. Rudy Fernandez scored a big comeback in the competition with 23 points, 4 rebounds and 3 steals. The rising star Nikola Mirotic adding 18 points with 8 boards. Just about the whole 11,000 crowd were delighted with the show in the Spanish capital. If you're looking for some unexpected and spectacular play, then Sergio Llull is your man. Rail's buzzer beater specialist contributed with 15 points, 5 rebounds and 4 assists. Let's take a look at our Turkish Airlines Top 3 of the week. Number 3, Istanbul, Turkey. Besiktas runs the break. Curtis Geralds finds Patrick Christopher for the high-flying alley-oop slam. Bam! Besiktas grabbed its first EuroLeague win. Number two, Pireus, Greece. Caja Laboral with the steal. Nemanja Bielica to Fabian Kasser for the not this time. Costas Papanicolau rejects the shot off the glass. And the number one play of the week, Madrid, Spain. Sergio Yul sends the pass up and Rudy Fernandez puts it down. Before we leave you for now, let's look ahead to the next game of the week. A 21st century basketball giant enters a lion's den that's known for cutting giants down to size, as partisan MTS Belgrade hosts Seska Moscow in the next Turkish Airlines EuroLeague game of the week. Pioneer Arena in Belgrade, Serbia offers a basketball experience like no other in the world on EuroLeague game nights. And this first Partizan home game of the season will be truly special. Thursday's game marks the return of two head coaches to the Euroleague benches that made them famous. Ettore Messina leading Seska in a quest to bring another trophy to Moscow. And Dusko Vojozovic back in Belgrade for his fourth stint at Partizan, stretching across four different decades. The significance of the moment will not be lost on either club or the basketball crazy fans at Pioneer. As recently as 2008-9, the same teams and coaches played each other five times in the same EuroLeague season. Their regular season results that year were dramatic. A one-point win for Seska and Pioneer, and then revenge for Partizan on the road in Moscow. In the playoffs they met again, with defending champions from Moscow sweeping the best of five series, as star forward Viktor Kriyapa led the Seska defence from Game 1 onward. One year later, Vojozovic remained on the bench when Partizan and Seska battled into overtime of the third place game at the 2010 Paris Final Four. Seska finally prevailed as legend Trajan Langdon had a career high and Kriapa scored 17. The following season, it was Vojozovic sitting where Messina once did, but his magic didn't work in Moscow as Seska suffered regular season elimination in 2010 to end its record streak of eight consecutive Final Fours. Two years later, both men are back where they forged their biggest recent successes as their teams meet for the first time since that 2010 Final Four. With the amazing crowd at the Pioneer Arena offering a one-of-a-kind basketball backdrop, 
Expect a thrilling re-encounter between Partizan and Seska in the Game of the Week. Turkish Airlines Euroleague.